Perfect. Thanks for coming in. Um, fill that report. Yeah. Perfect. Let's take a look at. You can take a look at mine, and I'll take a look at yours, and then we'll just give you a minute or so and try and just look to see what matches up and what are way different. Okay. Anything you see in there that's just way off? Uh, I can just see that too. Yeah, I just see a lot of similarities as well. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, you know, just looking at here, in the attacking side, receiving the ball and keeping it on my safe side is almost the exact same thing. I'm talking about escaping pressure, yeah. left foot for ball control, turning some things that we talked about already mm -hmm. in terms of you're in midfield. Can you use the outside of your foot to then immediately get that ball on your safe side and away from the defender? Um, you know, attacking to defending. I think one of the things that in here that I really like is you guys are getting back into shape quicker and then also recovering and passing players on to get caught out of position. So that's one of the things in here where I'm talking about just group awareness. Yeah. Right. Obviously, you're a little bit more detailed about it. Love that. You know, it shows that we've done a good job of kind of understanding what that is, but it's good that you have that in there. Um, you know, the defending to attacking, keeping the ball more when we first win it. So we always talk about how do we break, how do we press, you know, quick through touch or through passes, yeah. how can we break it? So then also in the attack, can we go forward? If we can go forward, let's go forward until we can't anymore. Right? So, um, let's just see this real quick. I prepared a couple of clips for you just to kind of go over some things that I'm talking about. Um, we can use here or over there. Here. Positive or negative? Very positive. Very positive, right? Look how composed you looked when you were on the ball there. Yeah. Right? I think like when you received it, you had a good idea of what you wanted to do with it right away. And you're able to execute the text. Right? This is one of the things I like most about you as a player. You're one of our few players that's willing to drive at defenders and make them uncomfortable. Yeah. And here you get on the turn, you know you're top of the area, and you want to go in and strike this ball if you can. Great little run from Schaefer. Didn't create enough space for you, but you had a shot, yeah. right? So then the only other thing there, and this isn't a great clip for it, but your left foot in terms of how you compare that to your right foot when you're shooting consistently, yeah. right? That's something I think we can continue to improve on. Something that we can work on when we have those dedicated times in training, as well as just kind of that ball run. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Stop, Drew! Yeah. Positive negative for this one. Um, Where you're at, right? So yeah. 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 I'd say like positive. Why do you say that? I'm I'm sort of off his shoulder a little bit. Sure. But I feel like I could be in, there is a better position that I could move into. Where do you think you would be? I'd say maybe like in here yep. a little bit. So yeah. that he has like no, like less of an idea where I actually am. Okay, so what I see here is potentially one, two, three players in a line. Yeah. Right? So what I worry about in this situation is the midfield balance. Right, so let's see how this play develops. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and he's only got one option, he's going to do a great job with that. Right? But what I'm seeing here is in this gap that you were just identified, yeah. where you could be, now you're in here, you're forcing him to either come to you, and if he does, then the pass at wide is a lot easier for Strawn. Yeah. If he doesn't, then you're in the gap, and you've got one player running through, who should be a bit higher looking to run through. You can switch in there, you can switch in there, or use the skill set we just talked about, get on the ball, get turned, and you drive the guy back on it and start breaking up. Yeah. Right? So it's just, again, that balance that they're bringing to it. It's a crush. <laughs> Alright, so I've went back and watched this one quite a bit because yeah. this is, I think, we've talked about this, I don't know how many times in training and in YouTube through the most, is just this turning in the field. So the big thing that stands out to me in this clip is. <laughs> Big thing that I see here, and it's hard to see with the camera angle. But did you know you had space behind you? No. Right? How many times have I seen you let the ball run across your body? Yeah. And then you just go down. Right? You've done that a number of times. So it's a little bit of awareness, mm -hmm. right? And then also, you want to receive this on your right foot, and your first, your second touch with your left foot sends you into more trouble. Yeah. Right? Instead of, you know, uh, getting this guy to chase. And then beating him with it for a change of direction, and then it's going out the other way, right? So there's a lot of different things that go in there. It's the awareness, it's the comfort on the ball with both sides of your body, and then what I call all the time is the which is we talk about safe side, to hide the ball, to get to get him on your hip, and then get your hand out to protect the ball, and then now you've got him. So then as he starts chasing, you can just change direction, and then you, you know you won't be able to get the ball off, right? Individual defending moment, right? You've, you've done everything right here, except right. So what yeah. takes priority in this moment? Forcing backwards, don't get him to it. Call him center. Keep him under pressure, right? If we force him in here, Drew's already on that center back. Our full back's ready to go and pounce, but because we let them turn. Now everybody's got to run 60 yards to cover the other side of the field. Yeah. All right. So it's just what takes priority in the moment. You mentioned group defending. This is group defending higher up the field, pressing. Okay. We know what our priorities are. The transitional moment, going to the attack. What do we want in the attack when the person's on the ball? Guidance. Yep. On what side? What do you mean what side? So we want runners on what side of the ball? Like center, like towards the goal. We want one towards the goal, yeah, obviously, but what else does he need on the other side? He needs the support. Yeah, the line. sure. So now, obviously, this isn't you. It's not you making that run. Yeah. But we always want to make sure that we, when we talk about transitional moments, can we get a three-pronged attack going forward? Because then the player on the ball has an option to his right, option to his left. Defenders are having to make more decisions. Yeah. Right, so in this moment, you're off to his right shoulder as well as Schaefer. That's fine. I think Drew either can do a little bit better job of maybe recognizing those are not good opportunities. But you receive the ball in the gap. Good job to hide it. Escape pressure. Now, over overkill maybe in terms of information, but talking to Schaefer yesterday, and this goes well with you and Bart, whoever else is playing the attack in the field positions. Can you have secondary movement to lose your defender? Do you know what I mean by secondary movement? Like you can, yeah, I mean, just a quick yeah. head bob. Yeah, right, yeah, right. So that now this defender thinks maybe you're going over the top and he just frees up a yard. Otherwise, he's just running with you. And with this guy in particular on the day, he wanted to go up. Yeah, just come into the head. Yeah, he just yeah. wanted to go through people, right? So we just. Building a profile on the players in the game, recognizing what their strengths are, weaknesses are, and then. <laughs> this one, you're in a much better what position. Okay. So your balance is great here, right? So now it's all about can we make these guys across the back line make decisions about movement? Pop in here. Great. Decision on the, on the on the moment, maybe not great. 
There's a couple of different things you could probably have done there. Right in the pocket. Received it. Right in between two defenders. He's committed. Right? Different things that we can do. What are some options here? Maybe not have to play this wide man here. Mm -hmm. um, maybe bounce it back. Mm -hmm. I was not sure where he might run off the ball. Yeah. Yep. So he slipped past the jersey yeah. because he's now freaking out. He's running for ball on the run. Yeah. Okay. So I think this is a good moment. It just comes down to execution. Yeah. Right. So in hindsight, we could go back and say, hey, we could have done this, we could have done that. Right. But I think um, here it's a moment for you to express yourself. Right. And this is why we put you in these positions to then go when you put your strength down the ball, be direct on the dribble because you would have created more there. Yeah. If not, what are my other options? Swing this pass out wide to the fullback on top. Have we established possession? Mm. No, 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 I'm saying in this moment before you lose it, did we have established mm. possession? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we're set. We're in good shape. They're dropped back. We lose it. Once we've established possession and we've lost the ball, what are we trying to do? Go up and give them space. No. We've established possession. They're back and they're deep. Like they're compact. Yeah. Oh, right. We want to press yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Because yeah. in six seconds, they still yet to open up. Now watch because the regular closest player didn't repress quick enough. You still force them backwards. But this guy's got all the time in the world. Right? And then take this pass. Right? Yeah. So my point is establish possession, recognize the moment the trigger there was quickly come press. Yeah. Yeah. clips just from the one game kind of highlight some of your strengths and your weaknesses so I think walking away from this you need to prioritize like one two and three what are some things that you want to work on kind of going over the next month that we have left for the season yeah or like the um, spring one definitely uh, receiving mm -hmm. and that like protecting the ball when I get it mm -hmm. um, that's probably number one just so that we can keep the ball a bit better um, also, left foot, I guess, working on that, um, mostly shooting, creating that sort of um, half a yard just mm -hmm. to get the shot off. And uh, with the runs, like you said, um, just like a little feint or something like that, just so that I can sort of pursue the defenders and then open up a little bit more space for myself. Good. Yeah, I think those are those are three things that definitely um, you know I've highlighted as some some things that you should work on. Um, how are some ways that you can do that? Um, just with that first one, mm -hmm. just practice it. Like in training, just make sure that I'm constantly aware and conscious sure. that when the ball comes to me, just knowing where the defenders are, so that I can just like uh, perceive if it's coming in from the, the left here and the defender on my right, just yeah. making sure I'm using that left foot to shield the ball. I think um, the awareness is important. Yeah, definitely. What, you know, and, and I, I, you hear me talk about this all the time in the training field. It's, it's little things. It's building yeah. habits. So yeah. even when we're doing a mundane passing pattern in the beginning of training, mm. right? It's checking shoulders, it's being tagged on, it's being intentional with first and second touch, it's making sure balls are playing in sharp, right? Not allowing, um, you know, mediocrity to kind of creep into what you are doing individually. If your teammates aren't giving you what you need, you're going to be asking it from them. Yeah. 
So I think those are those are some things as well as what's what's a fun little game that we just try to work on the other day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's it called? Like an escape game? The great yeah. escape. Great escape. The great escape. One. That's the one. Yeah. Great escape. I think I mean obviously there's no silver bullets in life, but I think that's one that yeah. uh, can help you with what you're looking at. Right. Um, so your left foot half yard shot. What are we looking at there? Repetition. Repetition. Yeah. So that's right. Ten thousand hour rule. Yeah. Just go in there, find a wall, find a ball, start creating that little half yard. Just getting comfortable with like one move. What's going to be your one move top of the box? Right. Yeah. But if it's coming in on the right side and you've got to open up your left foot, what's it going to be? Right. Shoulder drop. Shoulder drop. Shoulder drop. Yeah. It's up to you. Yeah. You know what I mean. But I think you've got to find what it is and then just make it so clean that you can get it off every time. Yeah. Okay. And then your secondary movement. What's some things that we need? How can we improve that? Just using my body as well. So like getting that arm out, pushing defenders away from me, getting on the ball. Um and like unpredictability. Mm -hmm. So changing things. Don't just make the same run every time. Sure. One thing going behind me, check or just running behind or something like that. Yeah. So, so I think the secondary movement is very similar to like your shooting. Yeah. It's repetition, right? It's thinking about it in training. It's awareness of this is something I need to work on. How am I going to put it into practice? Right. So when we're doing possession drills, we're doing passing patterns, we're doing, you know, shooting boxes to goal, can we add a little secondary movement? Even though the, the drill we, we designed it and showed how we did it, we didn't ask for it, but you know it's something that you need to be working on, so you add it. Yeah. No one's going to be like criticizing you. So how are you going to do that? The more you do do it, this is something that I had a discussion I had with Schaefer, the more that you do it, now your teammates can start to predict it mm -hmm. because he's obviously saying in, in, you know, in the game, they say, hey, I would show two and then I'd want it behind, but then they'd pass to my first run yeah. and we end up losing the ball. I was like, yeah, that's going to happen because they don't know you're going to do it. Yeah. Right? So the more you do that in training, they're going to be able to see it, you build that relationship to the players on the field and then you can execute. Right? Yeah. Perfect. All right, man. Anything else you want to talk about? Um, not that I can think of. Awesome. Thanks for coming in. Thank you very much. Yeah.